good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jiggy Jazz Jazz. Back again with another one for you. And this time, uh, we have a tune that I don't even know if I'm going to say it correctly. I believe it's pronounced Say Kansa. <laughs> okay, and it's uh, by a group. Definitely an international group called Taxi Creole. And we're in the key of F minor. So um, the song is not in English. I don't know if it's necessarily Spanish or whatever, but um, tell you what, I, the best I can tell you, it's a nice little groove. If you just listen to it. It's, it's a real nice. It has like a Spanish, Hispanic type of Latino type of, you know, vibe to it. So. More than likely, it is probably Spanish, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I didn't do the research. Uh, but the person who sponsored this tutorial would like to remain anonymous. Uh, so we're going to jump right into it. So again, we're in the key of F minor, and uh, we got some chords to go through here. So let's go through all 5.1 million chords. Nah, it's not that many, but okay. So you have the intro. The intro of the song starts like this, and there'll be a link in the description to the actual video, uh, to the song, you know, so that you can at least listen to it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a nice song, nice groove and everything. So I'll make sure that there's a link to the, at least the video that I listened to to learn this. Okay. All right. So intro. It's the same two chords for For Your Love. By Stevie Wonder. At least that's what it sounds like. I don't know how to play For Your Love. I haven't learned it before, but For Your Love. Don't that sound just like that, Stevie Wonder? But anyway, okay, back to the song. But those are the same chords for this song. So it starts with a B flat minor seven, double B flat on the left hand, A flat, D flat, F on the right hand, four. Oh, I'm singing the wrong song. Right chords, wrong song. Uh, the next chord is C minor seven. Double C on the left hand, B flat, E flat, G on the right hand. Then your next chord will be uh, D flat major seven. Double D flat on the left hand, C, F, A flat on the right hand. Then you're going to come down to C augmented, double C on the left hand. C, E, A flat on the right hand. And then you're going to go to, this is an F7 sus2, but on the chord sheet, I wrote it out as a C minor over F because that was just the easiest way for me to remember what to do since there were so many chords I had to learn. So double F on the left hand, C, E flat, G on the right hand. Um, that's not the, yeah, there you go. And then the next chord is F minor seven and you hit it two times. Double F on the left hand, A flat, C, E flat, and F. Okay, so that's the first line. So you have. Okay, now the next line, you start off with the same first three chords. So you still got your B flat minor seven again, your C minor seven, and D flat major seven. Those have not changed, okay? So, all right, so I'm just save time on the video. Let's just keep going because I literally just spelt those chords out for you. Now, the next chord that you go to is, this is a D flat over E flat chord, okay? So double E flat left hand, D flat F, a flat on the right hand. Then you want to play a E flat over A flat chord. Okay, E flat over um A flat. So double A flat on the left hand. E flat, G, B flat on the right hand. And then what you're gonna do is be um, you're gonna take this E flat on your right hand and invert it and play it again. But you want to play it in this inversion. G, B flat, E flat. You want to keep the A flat in the bass, but you're inverting the E flat chord on your right hand from to right there. G, B flat, E flat. And then you're going to bring your right hand down to a 
A flat major chord. So that's E flat, A flat, C on your right hand and your left hand, never left A flat. So the second line goes like this. Just like that. So the first two lines again. One more time from the beginning. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I know I messed it up again. Second line from the second line. There we go. Okay. Now the third line you're going to do is almost like you're doing the same thing, but you're doing it from a different position in the, um, in the, in the scale, I guess you can say. So now that's the walk you're going to do right there. It's going to be. Da, da, da. Okay. So that's E flat minus seven, double E flat on the left hand, D flat, G flat, B flat on the right hand. F minus seven, Double F on the left hand, E flat, F, A flat, C on the right hand. And now what you want to go is G flat major seven. And the way I'm playing this G flat major seven, I'm basically playing the B flat minor on my right hand and just double G flat on the left hand. And that put that together and that's your G flat major seven. Double G flat left hand, F, B flat, D flat right hand. And then what you want to do is drop down to F augmented. Double F on the left hand. F, A, uh, D flat. And then you're going to go to a... This is nothing but an F minor over B flat, okay? You can also call it B flat 7 sus 2, but it's easier just to remember F minor, B flat, okay? Double B flat left hand. F, A flat, C right hand okay and then you want to go to uh, B flat minor and you're going to hit that chord twice double B flat on the left hand D flat F B flat on the right hand okay so that third line just like that okay and then the last line of the intro like I said, this song has a lot of chords in it. This is just the intro. And the last line will be, um, what is it? Right, okay. Do you wanna do that? Yeah, 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 that's what we wanna do. Okay, so, all right, so you wanna have, a, um, you wanna hit a B flat minor one more time. I know you just hit it two times on the third line, but you're gonna hit it one more time. Same chord, double B flat left hand, D flat, F, B flat on the right hand. And then what you wanna do is do a F minor over A flat, double A flat on the left hand, a C, F, A flat, and you can make it a minor seven by adding this E flat, really. Add that E flat, which is an A flat six chord when you play it like that. So, and then your next chord is going to be G flat major seven. And this time I'm playing it in this inversion double G flat on the left hand, B flat, F, uh, um, D flat as in door, F, and B flat as in boy on the right hand. Then you want to do a C suspended four chord. Double C on the left hand. F, G, C on the right hand. And then you want to do the, the F7 sus2 chord, which is nothing but a C minor over double, um, double over F, double F, so whatever. <laughs> double F on your left hand. 
C, E flat, G on your right hand, and then you're going to hit the F minor 7 chord two times again. Okay, so all I did on my right hand was switch to A flat, C, E flat, and F, and just hit it twice. Right, left hand stayed on the um, F. So, here's my attempt to play that whole intro just one time, and then we're going to move on to the verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and bridge, okay? Yeah, so it's one of them type songs, okay? All right, so we have... you know took the time to spell that everything spell out everything so you can just go back and rewind it if you need to so that's the intro oh that's just the intro now for the verse the verse is all right so let's take a look at that first chord f minus seven double f on the left hand c e flat f a flat on the right hand and then you're going to hit it one more time real quick and go and you don't you can leave your left hand down when you hit it again so just your right hand can hit it again and keep your left hand down so you'll go blah, bop, just like that bop. and then the next chord that you're going to go to is your left hand is going to stay on the F and your right hand is going to switch to E flat on the right hand so that's B flat E flat G so I just call it E flat over F. And then you go down to B flat minus seven. Double B flat on the left hand, A flat, D flat, F on the right hand. And then you wanna jump up to E flat. Straight up E flat chord, not over F, just a straight up E flat. Double E flat left hand, B flat, E flat G on the right hand. All right, so you'll have and then so that's the first line. Now the second line is you're gonna take your left hand, bring it over to F, and keep the E flat on your right hand and go, and then move then move your right hand over to the F minus seven. So you'll be here first, double F on the left hand. B flat, E flat, G on the right hand, and then you'll quickly move it over to F minor seven, which was the first chord that we played in the verse. Double F, left hand, C, E flat, F, and A flat on the right hand. Okay, so again, that will be, so you're gonna, you're gonna be on the E flat chord, and all you gotta do is just take your left hand, bring it to F, and then hit everything again just like that and then come back up like there and then you're going to do everything else like you did before okay remember we did that and what we're going to do is we're going to well let me just just in case uh, uh, let me back up okay so we did the and then you're going to hit the f minor again on the right hand real quick c e flat f a flat Bring your right hand down to E flat again. B flat, E flat, G. Left hand is still on um, double F. Then you wanna hit your B flat minus seven again. Double B flat, left hand. A flat, D flat, F on the right hand. And last time we went to E flat from here, but this time we're gonna do E flat over C, which is also known as what, y'all? C minus seven. <laughs> but if in your mind, just keep in mind that you're going to E flat again, but this time you're putting the C in the bass, which makes it a C minus seven. So double C on the left hand, B flat, E flat, and G on the right hand. So, so far for the verse, this is what we have. Okay, 
Now the next chord that you go to is um, D flat major seven. You can always make it the major nine if you want, but I think I only heard major seven. Double D flat left hand, C, F, and A flat on the right hand. And then you're gonna come to D minor seven. Okay, double D on the left hand, A, C, D, F on the right hand. Then jump down to B flat seven, double B flat left hand, A flat, B flat, D, F on the right hand. Um, let's see. Then you're gonna go to the G minor, seven over C. Okay, so that's double C on the left hand. D, F, G, and B flat on the right hand. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to C7, double C on the left hand, B flat, C, E on the right hand. You can always add this G on top if you want. And then you're gonna hit this E uh, diminished seven. Okay. Double E on the left hand. E, G, B flat, and D flat on the right hand. Those are all the chords to the verse. So what you'll do again is da da. C D, D, D flat and you got sorry I have a note that's sticking over here don't you love when technical difficulties happen while you're in the middle of recording <laughs> okay but as you have that and then we go to oh C7 your regular C7 and then the okay let me just reset the keyboard real quick all right hopefully that fix it fix the problem hopefully sorry about that y'all know how technical difficulties happen Okay, we keep it moving, keep it moving. All right, we're good. Okay, so let me play that verse one more time because I know I had to stop halfway through. So you got da da And then guess what? Now after you do all that. All you do is simply play all those chords again. And the only chord that it seems like you don't play is the very last chord I just showed you, the E diminished seven. It seems like they just don't play it the second time. So on the first first, they just, everything else they play again. Just ignore the E diminished seven, the last time, but everything else is the same. Now you have what is I call the pre-chorus. I'm assuming, like I said, I can't understand a word they're saying, but it, the music sounds like it's a pre-chorus. So you got. So I'm calling that the pre-chorus. D flat major seven, double D flat left hand, C, F, A flat on the right hand. Quickly come down to C minor seven, double C on the left hand, B flat, uh, E flat, G on the right hand, B 
B flat minor seven, double B flat left hand, A flat, D flat, F on the right hand, then E flat, regular straight up E flat chord, double E flat left hand, B flat, E flat, G, that's E flat major by the way. Then you're gonna come to A major seven out of nowhere. So you can either do double A flat on the left hand or you can do A flat and E flat on your left hand. And then you can do G, C, E flat on the right hand, yeah. Okay, then you wanna go to G flat over A flat chord. So that's double A flat on the left hand, G flat, B flat, and D flat on the right hand. And then you're gonna um, go back to D flat major seven again, double D flat left hand, C, F, um, and A flat on the right hand. And then this time you still come down to C minor seven, double C on the left hand, B flat, E flat, G on the right hand. And you still come down to B flat minor seven, double B flat on the left hand, A flat, D flat, F. So the chords are the same, but the rhythm is slightly different. The first time you, you do, but the second time you get there, it's like, so same chords, but it's just different rhythm. Again, the first time, second time, Okay. All right. So after you play that B flat minor seven, um, things does change up. You're going to go to F minor seven over E flat, also known as the A flat six chord over E flat, double E flat on the left hand, C, E flat, F, A flat on the right hand. And then you're going to take your left hand. Bring it down to an E flat major chord, B flat, E flat, G on the right hand. And then you're going to just hit a C major chord. Just going to slap it like it just stole your bike or something. And you just want to slap it. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's late down here, y'all. It's getting late. Double C on the left hand, E, G, C on the right hand. Okay, and that's the whole pre-chord. So you got da, 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 da. Okay, and now we just got four chords for the chorus. So the chorus is just going to be chords that we already played. F minor 7. Double F left hand, C, E flat, F, A flat, C minor seven, double C left hand, B flat, E flat, G on the right hand, uh, B flat minor seven, double B flat left hand, A flat, D flat, F right hand, and then E flat major, double E flat left hand, B flat, E flat, G. Okay, and all you do is just go. So it's one, two, three, four, one, six. So each chord gets two beats. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. And then you go back to the verse again. Okay. <laughs> and then you play the chorus again. And the only other part to the song is they do have a bridge. So like halfway through the song, 
the chorus is played. It's like they do the chorus like literally eight times. They just like loop it eight times. And then eventually you'll hear, it might not be eight, but it's a lot of times. But then eventually you'll hear this. So those chords, it's very similar to the third and fourth row of the intro. When we went through the intro, it's a lot of the same chords. It's very similar, but not 100%. So you want to start with E flat minor seven, double E flat on the left hand, D flat, G flat, and B flat on the right hand. You want to do F minor seven, double F on the left hand, E flat, F, A flat, C on the right hand. There it is. And then you want to do your G flat major seven. And the way I'm playing it, I'm playing it as a B flat minor seven. No, just B flat minor, I'm sorry, over G flat. Okay, so that's double G flat on the left hand, F, B flat, D flat on the right hand. Come back down to F minor seven, double F on the left hand, E flat, F, A flat, C on the right hand. And then you wanna go down to a G flat over A flat chord. So that's double A flat on the left hand, D flat, G flat, and B flat. And then you're gonna do that walk again with the E flat minor to F minor seven. So E flat minor seven, double E flat on the left hand, D flat, G flat, B flat, F minor seven, double F on the left hand, E flat, F, A flat, C on the right hand, and then this time we're gonna do G flat major seven, but I'm doing it in this inversion. Last time I had the B flat minor over here. It's still B flat minor, but it's inverted. <laughs> so double G flat on the left hand, D flat, F, and B flat, also known as a D flat six on that right hand. Just thought I'd share that with you. Okay. And then we wanna do, this is a G, half diminished seven, also known as a G minor seven flat five. Okay. Double G left hand, D flat, F, G, and B flat. Okay, and then you're gonna go to your C four chord suspended i'm sorry c suspended for not just c4 but c suspended for double c on the left hand f g c on the right hand and then you got we're going to resolve it to a c major chord so just double c on the left hand and c e g on the right hand or you can do e g c it's up to you and then slap the chord and that's it. You just keep playing the, uh, after that's the chorus until the song fades out. So let's look at that bridge. So the bridge, let me just play it through. to the chorus. Mm. And whenever you're ready to end the song, you can end it on that uh, F minor chord. So F minor seven, F minor nine. This is up to you. F, C, F on the left hand. And you can just do A flat, C 
E flat, that's your F minor. And if you want to make it a nine, just add the G. A flat, C, E flat, G. But that's it. So that's the song. So um, hopefully um, you'll, uh, some of you might want to challenge yourself to learn it. It's a lot of chords. Um, woo, it was a challenge getting this tutorial done. I had my, I'm right now I'm recording this on my, it's on the same PC I always use, but it's under Windows 7. Because I put a new hard drive in here and, you know, that had Windows 10 and everything was working. And just when I was getting ready to do this tutorial, that hard drive just won't boot up. And it's it's it, it's like Windows, I think, got corrupted or something. And then I had to come and load up, boot up Windows 7 from my um, slave drive on this computer and boot up Windows 7 and set everything up. I had to set up because I, I, I have... A lot of things that makes all this work, this keyboard is MIDI to a keyboard that's way behind me, and that goes through my sound card, so I had to um, open up Studio One and set that up to make, it was, it, was, it, was a, it was hard work getting this done, but I'm glad I got it done. All right, and tomorrow, I'll take a look and see if I can figure out my Windows 10 portion of this PC, but I'm just glad I was able to do this. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.